Hey everyone, Chitragov this side. So today we are creating a 3D decal from 2D one. So first of all, we need a decal. Of course, we are going to Pixel Bridge to download it. I think everyone knows how to download and import. Still, I am showing you. So before that, first of all, check uh, the plugin is enabled or not. We we need a one plugin called Modeling. Go to the Edit Plugins and type here Modeling. So, uh, look, I already did. So. I'm not going to do it again. If if it's not showing into your browser, so click here, and the restart option will pop up and restart, and we are good to go. So close this. Go to the Quixel Bridge. Home. Oh, it take times. Home decals. And choose whatever you want according to your choice. You uh, you can create any 3D decal, 2D decal into 3D by this method. Okay. So I'm not going to download again. Let me show you mine. So here is the maple leaves I downloaded in a medium quality. So you can also get in the high quality. I think yes, highest quality. So close this, close this, and uh, we need a one rectangle. Go to the modeling tab. Shortcut is a shift plus five. Okay, you can go from here also. Go down, go down. No, up is the first of all in shapes. We want a rectangle. Click here. Uh, width is three hundred, three hundred. Make sure and uh, subdivision hundred, hundred. Okay, so create here. Accept just and drag up it. Okay. So now close this. Go to the selection tab. Go to the content browser. Uh, Control plus shift. Dock it in layout. <coughs> so this is a decal. Just simply drag and drop here. We we have. Okay. Let me increase the camera speed. So can we can go faster? Okay. decrease the size of decal so it fits here so i need another plane for to show you how to to compare press uh, hold alt and uh, press left key and drag it to duplicate okay to convert a 3d decal we need a material so create uh, create a right click here go to the material and name it whatever you want i am going to name it 3d decal decals okay double click here simply do one setting here convert it mask from opaque that's all go to the go to content browser make a scan decal maple leaves And drag three textures from here. Uh, press Control and select three of them. Press place it here. Okay. So this is a normal texture, and this is a displacement texture. So and this is a albedo. We can base color, connect it base color, and how to recognize and how to find this is a normal or not. We make sure one thing: the blue one is always normal. Look, this kind of structure is always normal. So connect this into the normal, and go to here. Double click, go to the texture, and find out the mask. We have three colors uh, channels: red, green, blue. Find out which one is the mask. I think blue is look. I disabled and our blue one is a mask channel so i am going to add a blue close it take it a blue channel and is it here look that's we want okay so save it close it and just simply apply our new material to here look we got a shadow now but still it's not a 3d it's looking very same so first of all we need to go to my modeling tab click the rectangle to make sure it uh, selected and go to the modeling tab 
shift plus 5 use shortcuts it saves time and uh, here you here you find a mesh ops and uh, a remesh option click here so now be careful while tweaking these values it takes some resources according to your specs i am doing it 50000 maybe it's sufficient okay just accept it now go to up words and find a deform section and in the deform section you can find a displace option click here and by default it's set to the perlin noise so you have to convert it into 2d texture map oh, oh, ignore this texture 2d map sorry so by default it's not selected so this one green color texture grab this and drop here that's all just we need uh, look at this now it's converted into 3d looking like a 3d okay so you can tweak this value to gain more details i'm not going to do that i am satisfied this result so i'm not going to tweak again this is a displacement intensity more you increase more will it displaces like i am showing you 100 look it it looks weird i think so make it uh, 60 maybe ha huh, that's fine okay so if you are satisfied with your tweaking values then accept it it take times as i said so now we are we are now in a selection tab so you can find a difference so this is a comparison between 2d uh, let me put it down so you can see properly So that's all for today guys. Uh hope you like this video. If you have another query then let me know in the comment section. I will solve it. Thank you.